Hey guys, Sacker97 here. We just got this 2008 Raptor 250 used last week, so I couldn't make a video of it. I got it last week, and um, my parents, it's not mine. I mean, it's mine, but not mine to race and ride it. I mean, I'll ride it, but not race it. You guys know what I mean, but um, it's my parents. When we go to big tracks that have a couple tracks and stuff, they have to walk really far to get to the track that they need to watch me at. Um, so they've been looking for a quad to get. So um, we were at, my mom was at getting her oil changed. And she was like, oh, yeah, I've been looking for a quad. And then the guy was like, oh, I have one. It's not for sale, but we'll sell it to you. And this is, um, it's a 2008. The guy hasn't rode it much at all. He's put four rides on it. As you guys can see, it looks brand new. And I, I mean, he was a car dealer or a car autos person. He just serviced it himself, put all new oil and everything. But I don't know if he knew how much they are, or what, because it's about five grand brand new. So, and um, he sold it for to us for sixteen hundred dollars with four rides on it. So here it is, and it's it's really user friendly. Like I was looking at this right here for the airbox. You just reach under here and pop that right up. And um, that was actually pretty dirty under there. It gets really dirty under there even after a quick ride. And I spent some time cleaning out this. I um, plugged the um, carburetor and completely pressure washed this whole thing out. So as you guys can see, this looks really clean. And then to get the seat back on, you just slide it right forward, pop it right down. So two bad things about this quad that I have discovered are no reverse which isn't bad at all um it I haven't even needed reverse really and then second thing is it's air cooled so I mean I mean nothing's bad about air cooled I'm not hardcore racing this thing so it's just my parents to ride around so you don't need a liquid cool really but it just takes a little longer to cool down <laughs> so um, this is a side view of the bike. It's the gray and red one. Kind of, yeah, I guess it's a gray colored. And it's electric start. Five gears. One, half click up, neutral. Um, two, three, four, five. Um, chain driven. Sprockets and everything are all good. Tires are real good. I mean, you guys can tell it hasn't been ridden barely at all, but and it sounds sweet. So I'll give you guys a start up. You just turn on choke, or I mean the um, the uh, key, the run button right here, and it also has lights. See the high, low. There it is, and also when you press the brake, I'll show you guys that. See that. So, all right, here it is, start it up. And it sounds really, really cool. This is a 254 stroke. So, it's fun to ride. Yeah, it sounds really good. I love this four-stroke sound, but I like my two-stroke better. Really easy to maintain. Gas, it's amazing on gas. Really good throttle response. It's very quick. Real easy to shift. Doesn't have the hydraulic clutches like the KTMs, though, so that's real, real nice. With There's my KTM in there. So, that's what it sounds like, and um, I raced the day before yesterday, Saturday, this past weekend, but couldn't make a video. I got it on helmet cam in a couple videos, but it was a night race at Daniels Ridge, so you couldn't really see anything, so I don't, I don't think I can put that up. I tried looking at it, but it's just not worth putting up. You guys can't see anything, really, so... But um, my 125 is doing great. Um, 
no problems with it, really. I mean, well, actually, nothing, because it's got it brand new, but you can tell that thing looks pretty awesome. It's got 12 hours on it. I put that hour meter on it, so I've done pretty good on it. I've kept it real clean, as you guys can see. It looks really clean. Engine's still really clean. I mean, scuffed up, but how much can you control that? But graphics are all good. Not haven't even really laid it down yet. So, but that's the new Raptor 250. Thanks for watching.